Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about radioactivity. First of all, we need to talk about isotopes. Now, most of us have probably come across carbon 12, which has six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. And we can tell all this from the chemical symbol for carbon. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you watch my earlier videos on atomic structure. So that's carbon-12. This version of carbon is stable. There is another version of carbon, carbon-14. It has six protons, six electrons, but it has eight neutrons. And because of that, it is unstable. Both versions exist in nature. These two versions of the same element are called isotopes. Isotopes of an element have the same number of protons and electrons, but a different number of neutrons. Now, stable isotopes don't do much, but if they are unstable, they undergo radioactive decay in order to become more stable. So the carbon-14 isotope will decay in order to become more stable, meaning it will emit some form of radiation, either alpha, beta or gamma. The thing is, this process is completely random. So if we had a sample of carbon-14 atoms, we wouldn't know which atoms will decay or when. So first, this one could decay, and then next it could be that one, next it could be that one, but we would have no way of knowing which one will decay and when it will decay. It's completely random. But what we can do is we can measure the activity of the sample as a whole. And the activity of an isotope is the number of atoms that decay per second. And radiation can be detected using a Geiger tube and counter. So this is a Geiger tube and this is the counter and it will make a clicking sound every time a particle of radiation enters the Geiger tube and this gives us the count rate this gives us the count rate in counts per second which we can use to monitor the activity of a sample. So let's look at the three types of radiation very briefly. An alpha particle is made up of two protons and two neutrons, and it is the equivalent of a helium nucleus. We can write the symbol for an alpha particle like this, showing the mass number of it and the proton number. A beta particle is just an electron which is given off by the nucleus and we can write this symbol like this it has no mass because electrons don't have relative mass and it has a charge of minus one because it's an elect electron and gamma radiation is just an em wave an electromagnetic wave so it doesn't involve particles at all and we can write the symbol like this. And we're going to look at the properties of these three types in another video. So finally, let's talk about background radiation. Radioactive isotopes are all around us. They exist in the air, they exist in the earth, they exist in space, and of course from things like x-ray machines and nuclear reactors. And all of these things contribute to what's called the background radiation. So a Geiger counter would click even when there is no radioactive source nearby, simply because of the background radiation. However, if you brought a radioactive source nearby, then the Geiger counter would click more frequently. Okay, then that was just a video on radioactivity, just the basics. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.